Breaking news! John 8, the first synthetic humanoid to be awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor, is expected to announce a surprise bid to become the next President of the United States. This would be the first time a synthetic American has ever run for office, let alone the presidency. But are Americans really prepared to accept a synthetic president? We now go live to the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum, where John 8 is about to take the stage. Thank you all for coming. For too long, progress in this country has been held back by leaders who put their interests ahead of yours. Yeah! I stand before you now with no self-interest. I was built with one purpose, to serve the American people. And together, we can build a true democracy. An eighth-generation counterterrorism unit, John 8 was developed by the military after a spate of intelligence scandals engulfed the Pentagon. The program was designed to remove the possibility for misuse of personal data obtained from domestic surveillance programs. John 8 was programmed to monitor the personal data of millions of Americans and neutralize domestic security threats. The program proved a success, and John 8 played a pivotal role in thwarting the 11-11 terrorist plot. For his role in the raid, John 8 was awarded the country's highest distinction, the Congressional Medal of Honor, the first time the award has ever been bestowed on a synthetic humanoid. We have the technology to modernize our democracy. I was programmed to listen to every voice in America, and with me as your president, every American voice will be heard. All policies, all decisions will be dictated by you, the people. Each and every citizen will be counted equally. Each and every citizen will play their part. My opponents ask you to trust them. I ask only that you trust yourselves. That was decorated veteran John 8 earlier today, announcing his surprise presidential bid. He enters an already heated race between incumbent Democrat Marsha Washington and Republican nominee Wally Wallace Jr. Mr. Wallace, your response to John 8's surprise entry into the race. Hey, I like robots. I've got one myself. Does a great job shining my shoes. A typically robust response there from Wallace on this, the latest bizarre twist in the presidential race. As yet, no response from the president. Thoughts? Honestly, I'm glad President Washington hasn't dignified this with a response. It's clearly a joke candidacy. The American public are sick and tired of gimmicks. A synth running for public office is ridiculous. It's a publicity stunt and a complete mockery of our democratic process. This guy says he's going to represent the views of ordinary Americans by what? Processing their data? I don't want my data processed. I want a president with empathy, not algorithms. This guy's got no compassion, no heart. Literally, the guy has no heart. Look, if I want my toilet cleaned or my groceries picked up, I'll ask a robot. If we're going to war, I want a president who can look those sons of bitches in the eyes and not blink first. <laughs> I don't think this machine even can blink. That's exactly my point. Never trust a man who doesn't blink. Especially when he's a robot. Uh, did you see this today? Uh, apparently we have a new horse in the presidential race. <laughs> and although we've certainly had our suspicions in the past, uh, this is the first time a candidate for U.S. president has actually admitted to not being human. <laughs> I mean, what's next? Uh, uh, a toaster for Supreme Court justice? Uh, a hairdryer as first lady? <laughs> but seriously, I think it's great. It's great. For once, a robot is taking an American job that nobody wants. <laughs> Announcement of John 8. Stunned everyone today. A global history with his entry. <laughs> has been rocked to the core. Name on everyone's lip. John 8. John 8. John 8. John 8. Tomorrow on an all new Dana, John 8, the synthetic humanoid everyone is talking about, will give an exclusive interview. Watch as Dana asks the hard hitting questions you love and get the answers you need to know. Only on NCC's iStream.